Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing this battery pack that I have over here. This is a Cameron Sino high capacity battery for the um, HP Stream tablet that I have over here uh, because the the original battery died and so the original battery is this one you see over here um, yeah, I did a little modification to this tablet because these tablets are known to overheat and so I got this stuff on Amazon and I placed it here I did some cuttings here and here and yeah so anyway I got this battery to replace this one which is bad and I already um, took the battery out I mean it has some tapes that you must take care here you just pull it and remove the battery so I did take it out and so in this video I will going to unbox I am going to unbox this battery and install it in the machine so here is a quick look at the box you can see I have another Cameron Sino battery and it's working really great so that's why I got another Cameron Sino battery for the tablet alright so there we go now if you're going to take out the original battery, you have to be very careful, it bends easily. I Luckily, I didn't bend this battery, um, however, you see these marks, these are the, the, the tape marks. So I took the tapes out very carefully, and then the battery comes out pretty easily. You may have seen on YouTube videos of people taking out the battery, and they bend it, and that's dangerous. The battery can explode if you bend the battery or something like that. So yeah, so yeah, here is the battery. Uh, I took out the the protection envelope and all of that, the, the wrapper. So now I'm going to open this carefully here. If it opens, because it seems to be a little hard to take this out. There we go. And so we take out the battery here. It's see if the items will come out of the box wow it's really hard anyway I think this doesn't come out yeah it, it should come out yeah so here's the battery that you see if we compare it with the original battery this seems to be harder than this one um, same battery original battery Cameron Sino battery the connectors are the same and of that um, this battery the original one is 11.1 uh, watt hour and 3.7 volts this one is 11.4 and it's 3000 mAh and 3.8 volts which is like the, the first from the original battery however it should work given that it's in the tolerance levels so yeah pretty much we just place the battery here and we proceed to connect it here and uh, when it's done it's plugged in there it should be plugged in and uh, it should work you see it fits perfectly and uh, all of that one interesting thing that I noticed is that the battery there's no battery it seems for the HP Stream 8 tablet however it will work as well wait a second so, here I have the HP Stream tablet which I need to remove this and place new ones because the other one went away. So the battery you can see is way bigger, however, um, again I took out this because this battery is also bad. Um, yeah, it's because I have a micro SD card here which I need to take out. I haven't taken this battery out, but usually these are what I mentioned earlier. You have to pull this very careful to remove the tapes and remove the battery. But the connector 
is the same one so basically it is compatible and if you look closer you will see that the system board is essentially the same the only difference being that the HP Stream 8 tablet that I have does have um, an ASPA I believe uh, it, it has a wireless modem which allows us to use uh, a SIM card and wireless internet um, I mean um, one internet from from T-Mobile or AT&T or something like that um, this one doesn't have that but other than that the system board is the same therefore the battery should also be compatible with the um, HP Stream 8 so yeah let me take this out because we are focusing on the HP Stream 7 tablet here and now if I press the power button it should power on but it may not power on because maybe the battery is dead and needs to be charged which seems to be the case most of the time so luckily luckily I have here a cable to charge the battery so I'm going to plug it in and it should say it's charging there it is yeah it's saying something about the CMOS battery um, if we try at least it's having the logo there so that's a good sign and it's powering up that's another good sign so I it seems to be powering up but the battery level may be very slow very low I mean and we're going to see that just in a moment when the tablet turns on so it's powering up mm -hmm. that's a good sign also now I don't know if the power button didn't work or, or if the battery is actually low but in either case you can see that well um yeah it seems the battery is actually low but it, it says 50 percent so maybe or, or sometimes you just need to plug to connect the you just need to connect the power adapter so that it um turns on for the first thing but the good thing is that it's working the battery the battery works and that's the good thing so now that we saw it I'm going to test it um, with the HP Stream 8 tablet um, hopefully they uh, Cameron Sino will make a battery for that tablet uh, because I didn't found out that one so again we just carefully detach the cable from here there we are we remove the battery and here we have the HP Stream 8 tablet now carefully very careful you have to be very careful you are going to do something like that and you see I broke it yeah this happened with the HP Stream 7 tablet as well that's why I recommend you do uh, it broke as well yeah but in that case be very careful indeed because the battery can be bad in either case let's do this pretty quick just detach the cable from here and now attach the battery cable here no because it is uh, the cable is small anyway it's there it should power on let's see now this tablet is giving me some problems with the power button I know this one is uh, having some problems with it so I may need to there it is device not found in this case because I tried to install the operating system 
um, and it shut off because of the bad battery so yeah there's no operating system for this one installed but um, the good thing is that it powered on so this is this one just to show you that the battery is also compatible with the HP Stream 8 tablet and you can see that's this the difference between the old battery and the new battery so yeah other than that the battery will work so again I detach the connector from here again be very careful for removing these batteries because these ones are um, like they are not as solid as this one so yeah so this is the camera Sino battery I will be charging it to the fullest and then after it charged I will then proceed to install uh, the operating system to this tablet and also to the HP Stream 7 tablet because um, I am going to update it with the latest Windows um, build uh, the Windows CPU update and then I will proceed to making the to make the upgrades to the Windows is out of preview because for some reason it's giving me some boot loops um, it will just not install the latest version so I'm going to do the clean install and for that reason is why I got this battery because um, there's one port over here and it doesn't work for data and charging simultaneously unless I have a special dock which I don't, I don't have so this is the Cameron Sino battery for the HP Stream 7 and I just showed you that it works and um, yeah that's basically it this is all for this video I hope you like this video if you did please like this channel come I mean subscribe to my channel like this video comment on it and share with your friends and all of that so yeah thank you for watching this video again